Everything you need to know about acid reflux and GERD? Acid reflux happens when contents from your stomach move back up into your esophagus. This action is also called acid regurgitation or gastroesophageal reflux. If you have symptoms of acid reflux more than twice a week, you might have a condition known as gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD. According to the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, NIG trusted source, GERD affects about 20% of people globally. If left untreated, it can sometimes cause serious complications. The main symptom of GERD is acid reflux. Acid reflux can cause an uncomfortable burning feeling in your chest, which can move up into your neck and throat. This feeling is often known as heartburn. If you have acid reflux, you might develop a sour or bitter taste at the back of your mouth. It might also cause the regurgitation of food or liquid from your stomach into your mouth. Some other symptoms of GERD include Nausea Chest pain Pain when swallowing Difficulty swallowing Chronic cough A hoarse voice Bad breath To manage and relieve symptoms of GERD, your doctor might encourage you to make certain lifestyle changes, like Maintaining a moderate weight, if applicable Quitting smoking, if you smoke Avoiding big, heavy meals in the evening Waiting a few hours after eating to lie down Elevating your head during sleep, by raising the head of your bed 6 to 8 inches Alcohol and gear Alcohol consumption and gear have been connected in many studies, and it seems like the more alcohol you drink, the higher the likelihood you might develop gear. While the connection is not crystal clear, does alcohol affect the lay directly, or do people who drink a lot of alcohol also have other behaviors that can lead to gear? What is clear is that limiting alcohol intake, or stopping it completely, after you've been diagnosed, may provide some symptom relief. A few home remedies floating around out there that may do more harm than good include Drinking a baking soda and water solution. Because baking soda is alkaline, it has the ability to help neutralize acidity, and is mostly safe to consume in small doses. But baking soda is high in sodium, and it's also possible to experience side effects if you consume too much. Chewing gum. The thought here is that because saliva is slightly alkaline, stimulating it by chewing gum after eating may help neutralize the acidity in your mouth and throat. While a very small study from 2005 did find some merit to this approach, the size of the study makes it difficult to draw any real conclusions. Consuming Ginger Ginger is a common home remedy for issues like nausea and a sour stomach, but it's still unclear if it can actually help with occasional heartburn symptoms. In fact, in many studies trusted source, heartburn is a symptom of taking too much ginger. Drinking Milk Due to its natural alkalinity, milk is another home remedy that's often touted as a way to ease heartburn symptoms. Unfortunately, even though it may feel soothing initially, the fat and protein it contains can ultimately make heartburn symptoms worse once the milk is digested. Low-fat milk may be easier for some people to tolerate. Medication for reflux and gear? Your doctor might also suggest taking over-the-counter, OTC, medications like those listed below. All of these medications can cause side effects, so talk with your doctor about which option is the best for you. Antacids Antacids like Tums are typically used for occasional and mild symptoms of acid reflux and gear. But if you find that you're taking antacids almost every day, you may need a stronger medication. H2 Receptor Blockers H2 blockers like Pepsid AC work to lower the amount of acid your stomach makes. Many H2 blockers are available OTC, while higher doses of these medicines can also be prescribed. It's important to note is that one type of H2 blocker, ranitidine, also known as Zantac, was recently recalled by the trusted source for containing the ingredient n nitrosidimethylamine NDMA, which is a known carcinogen. Proton Pump Inhibitors, PPIs PPIs like Prilosec also lower the amount of acid your stomach makes. Because they tend to work better than H2 blockers, they're more helpful when it comes to healing the esophageal lining, which can become damaged when someone is dealing with Garrett for a while. Like H2 blockers, you can buy some PPIs OTC, and your doctor can also prescribe you a higher dose. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more stories.